uh, along with my boy Slim. What's going on, you guys? All right, and we're here with Nick Giles, who topped yet another regional with GKs. How's it going, man? How's it feel? Good. Feels good. Feels good? All right. Uh, you went X2 through nine rounds, correct? Yes. You lost to Mermail, correct? Yes. And you just savage everything else? Uh, for the <laughs> most part, yeah. I went in game three a few times, but for the most of them, I did pretty good, yes. Yeah, I mean, it, I, <laughs> we're going to get into this list, man, because this is a crazy-ass list, so let's get into it. All right. First, play three fossil dino. So why three dino? Just because it's too good. It works with another card that I'm gonna show you in the deck. Uh, we've had a lot of preparation. I've had a lot of help with uh, Justin Persmerski and Desmond Fanboy. Uh, just we've all put a lot of time and effort into this get deck with throughout play testing and everything. Fossil Dino was standalone, the strongest monster in the deck by itself. I mean, like, we saw, like, people were playing Barrier Stun here today still, just because of how strong the card can be against the meta. Yeah. So, Next, right. I play uh, three Recruiter, thin out the deck, it's, gets the engine going, mm -hmm. gets me this guy right here for the... Double uh, common up. For the Necro Valley. I only play two because I don't want this clog. I play two Heretic just because standalone against Paleos is really good. And anything else like uh, demise variants or anything else, I mean, like track Necro, heavy wise. Necro Heretic with back row, it's still just every bit as strong as it's always been. Uh, and then I got one assailant, and one descendant, just for names, a little bit more monsters, in case I might randomly need their effects. I mean, descendants be, kind of become your quasi uh, pudding set. You don't need it as a main thing, but it's always nice to have. Yes. Nice to have the option. Uh, hold on, hold on, one second, one second. Ow. Those are all the monsters. Those are all the monsters. <laughs> Where's Gravekeeper Spy? No Spy. Why no Spy? Tell the world why no Spy. Uh, I feel like it's too slow at the current time being. Uh, and on top of that, you just capitalize too much on Demise and Spy on your turn to where if I set it, I gotta wait a whole nother turn and then if I draw Spy and Demise, or Spy, Demise, with, or with uh, Duality, then I gotta wait to activate it a whole nother turn again. And just, it's a card that sets yourself behind than it does to progress the game state. Yeah. Makes sense. Awesome. I mean, like me, we've all been talking about like just cutting spies from our builds. Like, do you miss spy at all? I do not miss spy at all. And now, do you think with a slower format, do you think spy can make a comeback? Yes. All right. But just so for now, though, it's gone. You're gonna play more of a field control variant of GK. Yeah. Yes. Until then, fossil line has completely fulfilled its its place. Oh yeah. All right. So in spells. The I got three card of demise just because it's my recovery play or. He gets so, my back row. Do you think, now to me there's a difference between a stun deck that plays Demise and a Demise deck. Like a Demise deck to me is like clay stun, where the second you take away Demise, it, it, it's, it's done, the deck's dead. Now do you think that GKs are a Demise deck or a stun deck? A little bit of both, but I think without Demise, I think I would have a lot more trouble and I don't think I would have topped today at all. And you don't think so? So I would, that strong I would say it's a Demise deck, yes. Okay. Three dualities just to keep searching and digging for all the stuff that you end up needing. This deck shiny as fuck. <laughs> Two necro because I don't want to clog, clog with the demises, um, or have it be dead for the third for the pendulum decks. Have you ever like missed necro value? Like, has it ever been a time where you're like, oh shit, I really need necro? And I, as, I don't as far as today went, no, I, I never needed. it. There was times where I needed it, but didn't draw it. But there was never a time to where I needed that third one. And but this isn't, it's not Necrovalley.deck in this particular variant. You know, you have Dinos, you have other cards to stop it. Correct. Okay. With that Fossil Dino too, this right here, <laughs> with Fossil Dino, this was MVP today. Oh, God. This, this single-handedly, hands down, won me matches. I was watching one of your matches, whatever, and you opened Dino, Moon Mirror, in back row against the guy. I thought I was watching I've Barrier probably, Stun all I've, over again. I've probably opened that more today than I've opened any other card. <laughs> I opened up that in two combos. And that by so itself is just too strong. One over Geki for a board clearance. Dark hole in case you lose the die roll or another board clearance. Everything with toads or anything else. Uh, monsters aren't high attack, so it's just clear the board and then try to get my little guys out there. Uh, why just uh, one why just one dark hole? Why not two? Because two would have been an overkill, especially if I won the die rolls and I wanted to go first like I wanted to. Two would have been to the point to where even if one would have got MST, Twin Twister, and Cyclone, I still had the second one to follow up with it. Okay. Uh, one of upstart because, as you guys know from my previous profiles, I've been running f over 40 throughout uh, all my other decks. And Desmond and Justin both finally got me to cut down to 40, well, 39 with the upstart. I think because you're playing like only two common on, only two necro value, you're not playing uh, spy. Like you're not playing these cards that clog nearly as easily. You don't need to go over 40. Yes. So. 
Alright, that makes sense. Uh, I play the one of Stealth, yeah. and this is the last of the spells. Uh, this will probably come out today, just because I didn't really need it. I don't know what I'm going to put in for it, but I know for sure I, that will not remain into the deck. I had that same problem at Columbus. I had um, as Justin was saying too about your about the spy question, is uh, with that new trap virus card coming out as well, uh, that that could potentially be when spy comes back into play. He made a very good point with that. Oh, that's so true. You, you so you contribute off the spy with the Necro Valley and then have it go off. I think it would also just depend on how slow the format is. Yeah. Yes. All right. So then traps. Traps. Triple strike because you want to negate everything. Yeah. Two stormings. And two Quakings. Uh, why two of both? So I play the Quakings to combo with the Fossil Dino. Uh, Fossil Dino recognizes special summon monsters. It doesn't recognize stuff from the extra deck. So even if I were to set Dino and Quaking their board, say it be Metal Foes or anything else, I can flip Fossil Dino and pop everything. And then as far as the storming goes, it's almost the same thing, but, but a little bit better. Just because everybody plays so much, goes into so much extra deck. It's almost like a mirror force, but stuff like uh, the Metal Foes or a Calc guy, he gets a pop when he gets sent to Graveyard, and the storming just puts him back to where you get to keep your field presence and you get to keep your Dino. Oh, so I forgot to ask you about decks. Dino. Is there ever a point, though, where like your opponent, like let's say you have Dino protected or whatever, was there ever a point where they where they summon a monster, they like they got over your back or they summon a monster, attacked over Dino, and like just kind of went off from there? Yes. Uh, how, do you, how do you prepare for that or how do you handle that? Just trying to draw more of the, the back row and stay consistent with drawing and pile shuffling all the time and everything else. With the Moon Mirror Shields is another thing that it, it the Moon Mirror Shield helps you for when you don't have the trap cards. Okay. Uh, two Starlight Roads. Uh, Gage had me playing Dark Bribes for a long time. Uh, I ended up taking those out today because I, I got tired of letting my opponent uh, draw a card. It's still a good card. I will not put Dark Bribe down ever. It, it's won me matches and games as well. Uh, Starlight Road just because the format's more linear though. Right. That and I'm able to special summon another protection. So if they Twin Twister, which uh, I got pulled it off a few times, but with Twin Twister, or there was uh, one time somebody had tried to regeki my board, my buddy Andy from Locals, and uh, my Starlight Road came in handy and it won me the game. Okay. Uh, Torrential, just because on this gauge, oh, was watching tell me the earlier. stories. So there was there's so many instances with Torrential uh. tribute against uh, round two. I played against you, Senju Kaiju. Uh, I dualed into it, and he knew I had it. I just acted like I forgot to set it, and then he went off, summoned four monsters, and I torrential on the last one. And I proceeded to meet him down with Heretic. Tell, tell me, tell and me, then, uh, uh, yeah, the round, blue eye story. Round eight out of nine, I was playing blue eyes. I acted like I didn't have a response to back row. I had. I acted like I didn't have anything. He summoned his alternative, went off with alternative, popped everything, did damage. Uh, then he went into Galaxy so Soldiers, acted like I still didn't have anything. As soon as he put that second Galaxy Soldier on board, uh, this guy from Team Jabber, very cool guy. And I tore into this board, and after that, he had absolutely nothing to recover from that. Uh, would you say it's your MVP outside of Demise? No. Dinah and Moomy are shield. Fair. Compulse, it's chainable, clears, uh, again, it clears the extra deck. The extra deck is very strong it's lately compulse. and everything else. Yep. Warning, because warning. it's warning. Bottomless, I was very back and forth about this card, but the more summons that I could stop with Metal Foes or any other deck like ABC if they go into A or the Gold Driver for Metal Foes, the stuff that they can single-handedly normal summon to beat over my Fossil Dino, this would protect that. Mm -hmm. uh, also play Interruptions if they Metal Foes Fusion. I don't have to waste my warning on that to the point to where when they bring the Fusion out, then I can get rid of the monster itself without sending it to the graveyard. And then uh, the one of Vanity's Emptiness. I had this against, uh, again, I had this against a uh, local named Andy. He, this standalone made him, we kept playing, and I won by deck out game one. Uh, do you ever have, during this tournament, Necro, Heretic, and Emptiness in play? Yes. Uh, the one time <laughs> I ended up having Necro, Necro Valley Recruiter, Moon Mirror Shield, and Vanity's Emptiness up. But he, and it was against a Mermail player, but he was able to regeki my... Uh, recruiter still in main phase one after he revealed the Megalo. So then he proceeded to OTK from there. Uh, the, the extra deck is pretty standard. Yep. Cowboy, Dweller, Diamond Dyer, Heartland Draco, Castell, 101, Beetle for the Vanity's Lock. This because of Chain Burn. 
Dark Rebellion in case of situations. You have to play the Utopia combo. Gemini Pro because that's like my absolute zero for what Gage does. <laughs> and then uh, my two Stardust Dragons for the Starlight Roads. Uh, have you gotten uh, both off this tournament? I'm sorry? Have you, did you get both off this tournament? I, I have only got, I've only been able to summon one. Oh, okay. What have you uh, made out of that, the whole tournament? Have you made any of those extra deck monsters? The extra deck monsters that Stardust. I have made would be, I've cowboyed one time. Other than that, I have not made a single X X Y Z today. You don't really need to. Like just your, your deck seems like a like a statue. She's there if you need it. Yep. Side deck. And then uh, this is the side deck. So I have two Rossfear modes. <laughs> this is against uh, Toads, uh, against Kieran Metalfills going second. Or DDDs. Or DDDs if they put out the Crystal Wing, Hope Harbinger, and the Siegfried. Two Ghost Ogres. This will clear off the uh, the metal foes. Clears off DDDs with their uh, the spell card that activates or anything else. I mean, if they tr if uh, ABC is trying to tag out, uh, do you like do you put that in for that situation? I do not. I did. I I, I didn't play against any ABC today. Uh, I was very pleased with not playing against an ABC today, but uh, I don't think that I would have put in Ghost Ogres. There was one time where I had put uh, Ghost Ogre Snow Rabbit in attack mode with a uh, Moon Mirror Shield because I've, I demised into it, so and they were forced to Dark Hole just the uh, Ghost Ogre. Uh, two MSTs, uh, Anti Spell Hate, uh, if people were to side in Royal Decree or something like that. Uh, this really helped out with Paleos. I forced their traps on my turn and then Regeki and banished them. Um, also scales if they're top decking. The third dark hole because when you know that you're going second, you want to make sure that that board is clear. You want to clear that board and put Dyna on board as fast as you can. Uh, debunk, again this was Justin's idea. Uh, he said the debunks were because of the DDDs for the slime reveals. Um, it also works against mermails, but I never got to use the debunk at all today. You just didn't have any luck with Mermel in the video. I do not. It is I, not. I never, ever have any never. luck with Mermel. Uh, Anti-Spell, again, it won me a match against uh, Pendulums, against Metal Foes, just because the mechanic it stops the whole mechanic itself. Uh, another card I didn't get to play today, Seal Drain, which I still would, would like to keep in here and test it out. This is more against the DDDs as well, because if everything goes into the extra deck. So this just basically stops everything that they try to do. Uh, the main thing that this stops that I have a problem with is it the heavy storm on their stand on the stand their standby phase? Uh, would you put this in against Mermel? The skill drain? It's kind of back and forth. Now. It, I would, but I wouldn't. I would prefer to do the sphere modes because they're gonna go off if you make them go first. They're gonna go off, and then it, you, if you draw the sphere mode, then it's good. But, and then uh, the last card I have for the side is the three typhoons for going second against metal foes as well. Um, I was prepping more against metal foes and DDDs today. I played zero DDDs, and I played uh, two metal foes. Uh, my matchups today were round one. Round one, I went metal foe two one. Lucendra Kaiju, I went two zero. Paleo, I went two. One. I played an undefeated hat deck round four. That was 2 0. Mermails was my first loss in round five. I went 1 2. Uh, Dark Lords, that was, again, that was the Fossil Dino. 2 1 win. Metal Foes was 2 1 win. Blue Eyes was 2 1 win, again, because of Fossil Dino and Moon Mirror Shield. But Moon Mirror Shield had no part of that. It was just straight Fossil Dino. And then my last round was against Vince. Uh, Right and Mermails, I got 2 old. <laughs> he put out a uh, triple toad the first turn. I, I didn't stand a single chance for that. I didn't see a sphere mode, so, and that was all she wrote. Well, I'm proud of you. Congratulations for repping GK's man here in 2017. Uh, do you, what, do you, what, what would you change about the deck outside of the. Uh, just the, the stell. This the stell mainly as far as the main deck goes. The side deck I would probably test something else maybe besides the ghost ogres. And I'm still unsure about the debunk, but I, I think with DDD's rising, I think debunk is still pretty good. And uh, do you think you're gonna change this deck a lot uh, when Zodiacs become legal? Uh, yeah, it will be a big meta change to the point where I will have to change some to probably maybe most stuff, but I don't I don't think it'll be that big of a drastic to the main deck. I think it might be to the side deck. Okay.
Well, congratulations, um, man. If I would like to uh, give a few shout outs, oh, yeah. if that's all right. Yeah. Uh, first, I would like to give a shout out to Gage for having me on his channel and Slim for having me. Uh, second, I would like to give a shout out to my team, Victimless Crime. Uh, Justin Przmurski helping out with the deck. Desmond Family helping out with the deck. Uh, and then the support from my family and my wife. Uh, I couldn't be here without all friends and family. Couldn't be here without them. Awesome. Absolutely, man. All right, man. Well, you, did, you did the thing, man. 2017 playing GKs. <laughs> and then, uh, amazing. Yeah. Uh, all graveyards all matter. Graveyards matter. Yeah. My buddy Desmond made the shirt. Yeah, for sure. All man. graveyards matter on the front. Show the back. Yep. And then the back. Got the Pharaoh right here. <laughs> yep. All right, man. So that's it. Uh, and as Slim would say, thumbs up the video. And thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs>